and welcome to Learn This. Today we're going to unlock the secrets of multiplying with two very special numbers, zero and one. These numbers are like the superheroes of multiplication. They have unique powers that make math much easier. Let's start with the number one. When you multiply any number by one, something magical happens. The number stays exactly the same. But why is that? Fair question. Let's look at an example. If you have one group of seven apples, how many apples do you have? That's right, just seven apples. What about one group of 15 apples? You still have 15 apples. So when we multiply by one, we're really saying, how many are in one group? When you multiply any number by one, the number stays the same. Take a moment to look at these examples. It's like a mirror. It reflects the number right back at you. Now, let's move on to the number zero. This one's super cool. When you multiply any number by zero, the answer is always zero. But why is this? Remember, multiplication is like giving a certain number of items to a group of people. If you give two apples to three people, then your total number of apples is six. But if you give two apples to zero people, then how many people are receiving the apples? That's right. There's nobody to receive the apples, so the answer is zero. If there are no groups, there are no apples to count. So two times zero equals zero. What if you have three groups but zero apples? Each group is receiving nothing. So again, the answer is zero. Any number multiplied by zero will equal zero. It can be 100 billion times zero and the answer will still be zero. Easy, right? Let's practice multiplying by zeros and ones together. What is five times one? Did you get five? Good job. What is six times zero? It's zero. How about zero times 25? If you said zero, then you get a gold star. So to review those number superpowers, one keeps the number the same and zero turns everything to zero. Practice these rules at home and you'll be a multiplication superhero in no time. Thanks for learning with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun math lessons. Check out these videos for more practice. See you next time on Learn This.